So I got a question asking me, how do I do my YouTube videos? Do I plan my videos? Do I schedule them? Do I write scripts? Am I winging it? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> so I thought, why not do a video discussing that topic, that question, and share with you what's been working for me in my videos and what's got me to this point now. Been uploading videos on YouTube since 2013. I'm at 6.8, just over 6.8K subs. It's a good amount and I'm happy with it. Road to 10K. 7k when i hit that mark there's going to be a giveaway for that again by the 10k mark the giveaway for that's going to be something special i'm not saying that the other ones weren't special but you get what i mean so yeah in this video we're going to talk about how to create your youtube videos I'm giving you five tips five key tips that's worked for me stuff that you can do and implement in your videos that will help you make a success of your youtube channel What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. So before we get into the video, I'm going to shout out my two newest subscribers. Shout out Mr. Sketch Base and High Def TV. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate the sub. It means a lot. So the best comment for this week is coming from Craig Nelson. Appreciate your feedback, bro. It's good to know that the way that I'm coming across on the videos is the way that I want it to come across. And it's helping and it's making sense and yeah, all of that good stuff. So appreciate your feedback. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's dive into the video. So if you see my video on five things you must do before starting a YouTube channel, then this is a follow on. Set up a YouTube channel, now you wanna start creating videos. So the first thing you wanna do is plan what's your video gonna be about, what's your topic. So some of the ways that I find videos is either through questions that I get on Instagram, looking at other videos, or looking at ways that I can not copy, but do the same sort of thing and make it my own. Keywords as well. So if you go into YouTube, you put a search in, for example, because I'm a beat maker, I'll put in beat making and I can put A, B, C, D after that and see what comes up. Depending on what your channel is, you can do the same thing. Choose two or three keywords and then scroll through the alphabet and see what comes up. And that will show you what people are searching for on YouTube. I'm also using TubeBuddy, which is an amazing tool to find specific T, T words specific keywords that you can make videos on. There's a free version and there's a paid version. Check that out. Yeah, it's a cool little tool. If you're just starting off, maybe you don't want to start spending money on these types of tools, but as you start to grow, then maybe. It's an option. So by planning, you're giving yourself some direction in what you're trying to achieve in your video. Because there's no point in just turning the camera on and you have no clue <laughs> in what you're going to do. So yeah, plan your videos. You found a topic to make a video on, how are you going to record? You're going to record off your camera, you're going to record off your phone. Don't get caught up in thinking, I need to have the best equipment. I need to have an, an amazing camera. I need to have a wide lens camera. You don't need all of that. The cameras that come with phones nowadays are on point. There's also these different apps that you can use to make the background blur. The wall is in focus, I'm in focus to this. So now, what do you think of this? Look at that background. It's nice and out of focus. The wall is slightly out of focus. So if that's something that you want to do or you're, you're, you're worried about, then there's an option for you. So recording, camera or phone, doesn't matter. Just get it started. Audio. So I've been testing a few things just lately. I've got a lab mic, I've got studio mics, I've got um, mics for the phone that I can just plug in. And I've been experimenting with, with all of these. Audio is important because if someone comes to your video and your audio is not on point, but the video looks cool, then it can kind of make your video seem a bit weak. So if you can, try and make your audio half decent, but don't lose sleep over it. So you got all that sorted, now it's delivery. How are you going to deliver your videos? Are you going to do voiceover? Are you going to do straight recording into your mic or USB microphone? But this is all down to you. It's down to how you feel comfortable in delivering your videos. If you're a bit shy and not very confident in talking to the camera, check out my video on how to be confident on the camera. It takes practice, takes time. You might even just start off making videos straight away and just be absolutely amazing at it. So yeah, but if, if you do struggle, check that video out. It's got some cool tips in there that will help you to relax and just be yourself. Also going back to delivery, how are you gonna deliver your videos? Are you gonna be more of a tutorial type where the way you talk is probably not the way that you would talk in person or are you just going to be yourself like how i deliver my videos this is if you're in the room with me sitting down one-on-one -on -one, having a little talk on you know life topics so you create your video how are you going to edit your video you're going to use free software you're going to use paid there's an amazing one that i'm using at the moment called davinci resolve i'm using 16 because 17 doesn't work on my mac for some reason but definitely check that out for editing there's there's so much out there there's a, there's a lot so just put a search in google 
editing software free or paid and then you're going to see a ton just come up so you just got to find what works best for you like i always say it's all about your workflow and how you like to work but these things are going to develop over time so don't feel that you must know how to work something straight away and you got just yeah just find what works are your videos going to have music in it where are you going to get your music from? Just lately, for my videos, I've been using the free YouTube library. I haven't signed up to Epidemic or anything like that yet, but I keep hearing about them and they look quite good, nice sounds. But the sounds that I'm using at the moment, I'm cool with. Sometimes I use my own beats. Depending on the mood that I'm trying to create for the video, then that's what I'll go with. So yeah, music for your video, you might need it, you might not, depending on the style of video that you're creating. Sometimes a bit of background music can help. So keep that in mind for when you're creating your videos. So you've done all that, you've got your video, now you need a thumbnail. Sometimes, or most of the time, I choose short little part from of my video that I've created. So for example, how I am now could be useful for a thumbnail, for this thumbnail. But yeah, I'll just scroll through, find the point where you've got a bit of teeth shine or making an expression because I feel like they help to help with your click through rate, which is a whole nother video that I will be touching on soon. You can take a separate pick if that's what you want to do and then create your thumbnail. Places like Canva, you can create a thumbnail Photoshop if that's what you're good at, uh, After Effects, After Effects, After Effects, you can create a pic in that. There's also some other ones, some other apps that I've seen a few YouTubers using to create their thumbnails. Like I've already mentioned, Google thumbnail apps or thumbnail generator, and I'm sure you're gonna find something that suits you and your workflow. So that's all well and good. Now you wanna share it, you put your video on YouTube, and you're getting no views, then what happens then? You keep going, you create more. Have a schedule, have a schedule that works for you. If it's one video you wanna post a week, post one a week. If it's two videos you wanna post a week, that's cool, free. If you wanna post a video every day, that's up to you, it's entirely up to you. It's your channel, you do what makes you happy. I feel if I was to post a video every day, which I, there's no way I can do because it's just too much editing and recording and planning and all that other stuff, plus trying to run a business and family as well. So that is just not possible right now. But you never know, once I get to a certain level in YouTube, you never know. But for now, for me, two videos is cool, free to a push and just to keep my sanity and not burn out because that's one thing as well, you've got to be careful of burning out, creating videos that you're not enjoying, just doing it for the likes or just for subscribers. You've got to find out for yourself, be self-aware on what is making you tick. What's your motivation? Why are you doing these videos? Because when you're not getting the views and the subscribers and what's, going, what's keeping you going? For me, it's just a case of absolutely love sharing, sharing what I know and creating videos to help you. So I'll always be doing it. My bonus tip, motivation, finding your motivation. You can't find motivation from someone else. You can hear some motivational quotes and whatnot. You can look around, is that straight? And be inspired by people. So if you're feeling a bit stuck, let's take a breather, don't be hard on yourself. And when you find that motivation and you feel more inspired to, to create, then get back on it. So those are my five tips for you to start creating your videos today. These things have helped me. These are the things that I'm doing now, continue to do. Always looking for new ways to grow and make them, make the videos watchable because you don't want people to just look at your video and do a runner. After 30 seconds, so yeah. Keep everyone engaged who's watching your videos. YouTube's a marathon and not a sprint. I know it sounds so cliche, but that is the truth. The reason why a lot of people stop is because they don't see results straight away in their first video. So it's like, oh, what am I doing this for? I ain't got no views and no subscribers. You just got to keep going, keep plugging away and you'll see it grow. If you're lucky enough to make a video where YouTube pushes it out there for you and you go viral, then that's good for you. All the more reason to make more videos. So if you're looking around and you see videos and you're thinking, oh, that's already been done. Guess what? No one's done a video like yours because they're not you and that's that's the biggest thing I can give you. You're you, no one else can do videos like you. So do not worry about any of that. Got any questions? Feel free to hit me up on Insta, or drop a comment below, always happy to help. So if you like this video at all, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to me, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.